okay. Wow, I just used the same phrase as from if you follow the news. <laughs> right, now let's take a look at how you, uh, how you can implement the ADOS Renji, the simple uh, graph generation from scratch and from, uh, from uh, using the function in network X. So uh, I'll switch to, to, the, to this. Uh, I have to share different screen. Where is it here? Okay. Uh, did you see my uh, browser? I don't. See, well, yes. I, I did. All right. Okay, good. All right. I I didn't open the participant screen because it's kind of obscure my my view here. Uh, so maybe I need to exit from full screen. That might be better. Uh, right, but please answer that. That would be nice. Okay, let's see how you can use um, create a dot random graph. Uh, creating creating it from scratch is quite simple it, because you can just create the um, you can just create a random graph, random number from uh, one uh, zero to one, right? Using uh, np random rank, and then you have like a square uh, square matrix. And then from that square matrix, you can create a thresholding key. If probability is less than P, then you let it, to, you let it be one. If else, it, you let it be uh, zero, right? False will be zero. And from that, we will have uh, ad an adjacency matrix that look like this one. Okay, here you can see that uh, I use uh, P equals 0 0.1, right? That means for each of the for each of the connection here, there is a chance of 10% that it will be connected, right? Uh, actually, if you want to specify it in a different way, uh, this value uh, can be um, E divided by uh, N choose two, and then you can specify the number of E, the expected number of H that you want, but, but it's similar, right? So whatever, it just need some probability to threshold it. And, and then uh, drawing a graph, the graph look like this one. Right, the graph look like this one. Um, it will be different uh, on your computer because this is random graph, depending on the seed. I did not specify the seed. So it, it, it will look like this. Okay, and, and particularly this is like pseudo random. So hopefully they are independent for each of the sampling. Okay, so uh, this is the way that you can uh, simulate the ADOS Renji from some scratch. Yeah, this is an uh, example uh, that I got, which is different from the one that I got now. Never mind that. There's an, another function that would do this for you um, is in the uh, network X package. Right, let's, let's take a look at that. Let me share the screen again. Here's the network X function for that. Let me zoom in. Okay. Uh, here, what you need is N again and P. Uh, and there's the function called ODOS Renyi graph. This is in uh, network X generators and random graph. There are a bunch of random graph that you can generate from this process. But um, in my experience, uh, if you can write code directly from algorithm, that is actually better in, in terms of graph theory here because um, the concept would allow you to further modify um, the graph later on, right? Like, you can think about that as for loop, and then you will just modify the value to one if it kind of uh, having a connection that way. Okay, so in this example, in network X, uh, let, let me open this um, random graph. Uh, Renji. Right, let's take a look at a, a bunch of graph generator that are here. So there are a lot of function that allow you to generate a lot of 
different types of graph. I'll just take a look at this random graph, right? Um, the random graph that we have contains this Erdos Renji graph. And actually, we will take a look at a few of them, like uh, the wet stochastic graph. Right? This is for the uh, small world phenomenon. And, and there are authors, authors as well, a random shell graph, a random lobster, whatever. But it, the mechanism itself is, um, it would be, the mechanism itself would be different for each of them, right? But we will just take a look at this field in order to understand the basic concepts. And um, if you want to understand more, I will suggest that you take a look at the underlying mechanism or underlying assumptions of, of those uh, generation methods. Okay, let's. Take a look at this one. So for this one, have n equal tens. Uh, is this the same one? Oh, right. And probability of link is actually 0 0.1. Uh, so total number of connection that can be here is 10 choose 2. And that is actually 10 times 9 divided by 2, right? I think 10 choose 2. Yeah, 10 times 9 divided by 2, I think. Uh, it's about 45, yeah, about that. 10% of that would be four, five connections. So here, and then I just create adjacency list and then plot them. Right. So here is the node and adjacency and no connection at all. Let me simulate it again. Yeah, here you can see four connections, run it again. Oh, sorry, the wrong one. And again, now we have you have about three connections. You can see three, four, five, about that, right? And each of these will show you the degree of and the clustering coefficient, right? It's about five connections right? from from all off. Uh, so this is the uh, random graph. All right, uh, let's switch back to this. Okay. 